When Chuck goes out and about, he goes in a McGuire's Ford. All right, so what do you do after a stressful day? Plop down in a chair to relax? So one man's stress buster is to take that chair and weave his magic on it. Here's Chuck's Out and About report. Like the rest of his colleagues in ABC 27's Master Control Room, broadcast engineer Steve Ambrose looks forward to winding down after a shift of split-second deadlines and dealing with the unexpected. So after work, he turns to a time-honored and time-consuming craft, chair seat weaving. It's relaxing. Uh, I have my old radio up there. I have a country station tuned in and usually hum along to the music. Chair seat weaving dates back to ancient Egypt and is still practiced all over the world. In Steve's family, it's been part of four generations. Seeing how long it has been in the family, I just felt I should learn how to do it to keep the tradition going. He learned his hand weaving technique 13 years ago from his mother-in-law. Since then, he's earned numerous awards for his work. I saw how, how neat it is to be able to work with your hands and create something like that. Many of his projects come from families not sure what to do with a damaged heirloom. They would say, well, I gotta throw the chair away. I don't know who can replace these seats. So in a way, I'm maintaining that memory of that relative. Steve says he loves the simplicity of and the craft. The way. techniques and tools pull have changed through. very little over the years. But if you're looking for a hobby with quick results, chair seat weaving might not be for you. An average seat that you see there, you're looking at around a 10, 12 hour investment of time to hand weave that in there. But spending all those hours in the shop by himself, no problem for Steve. Call it my man cave. <laughs> Gets me out of the house, but not too far away. <laughs> out and about with the chairman of the weave, I'm Chuck Rhodes for ABC 27 News.